Good morning, everyone. Thank you all for joining us on this chilly day to inaugurate such a warm and inviting project for our community. My name is Sochi Limora. I'll be your Master of Ceremony this morning. And I'd like to begin by recognizing our special guests uh, here with us today for this great ribbon cutting ceremony of the Kaboom Swing and Ride bus stop. I'd like to start off by recognizing the Honorable Jim Darling, Mayor of the City of McAllen. Just for you, man. <laughs> Our city manager, Mr. Roel Roy Rodriguez. <laughs> Assistant city manager, Mr. Jeff Johnston. Yeah. Assistant city manager, Ms. Michelle Leftwich. <laughs> Assistant city manager, Mr. Joe Vera. <laughs> Public library director, Ms. Kate Perrin. Our city engineer, Ms. Yvette Barrera. Our grants director, Ms. Carla Rodriguez. The deputy director for the Parks and Recreation Department, as well as his staff, Bob Canterbury. The Transit and McAllen Express Director, Mr. Mario Delgado, and his staff. Our Public Works Director, Ms. Elvira Alonso. And helping us to inaugurate this uh, ribbon cutting is the President of the McAllen Chamber of Commerce, Mr. Steve Alanius, along with Blanca Cárdenas, Vice President of Membership. And very special guests who will show us how to use the play uh, equipment here at the Kaboom Swing and Ride bus stop are residents of the Edinburgh Housing Authority. For a few remarks, I'd like to bring up our fearless leader, Mayor Darling. Thank you. Good morning. It, it kind of looked funny as we did it. We announced everybody in the audience. Uh, everybody came up and clapped in unison. That was kind of interesting from this perspective. But thank you for being here today. And I'm so glad I found out why all the great um, students from the Edinburgh Housing Authority are here. So they're going to demonstrate. I was wondering. I thought it was some, uh, but I'm glad to have you here today. And very, um, you know, uh, you introduced them as the Millennium Group today. And this is great because one of the things about the Millenniums is they do a lot of t things on their phones and don't get exercise, so they're going to demonstrate how we can uh, use this for exercise, so that's really good. So a lot of people, were, a lot of hard work here um, uh, to build this uh, and come up with this idea, and it's a fantastic idea. I, always, I think last time we were here I told people that I grew up in New York and I rode a bus all the time. And um, the only recreation we had around a bus stop was in the winter, we had snowball fights. and so. Um, can't do that here, so it's great that we have other other things to do. You know, it's gonna it's a it's a great uh, partnership between Kaboom's Play Everywhere Challenge. And that's a million dollar program they had throughout the country, and so we put in a, a bid for that, and um, we we're successful. I think uh, forty thousand dollars was this. And we were one of only one of the fifty uh, applicants that actually got awarded. So it's really exciting. It's a great uh, way um, um, to uh, you know I I don't know what the Mario, what are the wait times on a bus? Uh, they, they go by here every hour. They go every, so this will, that hour will go a lot faster from people out here exercising and all that. And I think it's a great uh, uh, idea because not only is it for the bus riders, but it gives people the idea, you know, get out and get some exercise and everybody's healthier. And what we want to make sure is we have a healthy uh, city in McAllen. So we're so proud of the, uh, our city staff that did this. We're so proud of partnering up with uh, Kaboom. They're great people. I think this is, is our second or third? Second? Anybody know? Second? Our third facility, that's right. Our third facility of one in the south side. And so we're proud and thank the Grants Department for doing that. We hope to have many uh, more in the future, and I can't wait for the next groundbreaking that we uh, do. So thank you all for being here today. Thank you, Mary. Thank you for supporting all of our initiatives. Now I'd like to bring up our city manager, Mr. Roy Rodriguez, for some remarks. Good morning. 
Beautiful day again here in McAllen. Um, thank you all for being here to celebrate with us, and especially the folks that ran, uh, came in the bus. We appreciate that very much. Um, hopefully you continue to use that. Uh, some of you may know, some of you may not. This bus stop is actually one that uh, carries our uh, students to UTRGV free, right, at no cost to the students, which is pretty awesome. Um, yeah, please get, clap, clap, yeah. My son's been on it. Uh, he's an 18-year-old freshman at UTRGV, and uh, from time to time, uh, I, I don't ground them anymore. He's 18 years old, but I take his car away. And so he's been on this bus ride. Free Wi-Fi. So, yeah, free Wi-Fi. Yeah. He likes that. Uh, the city of McAllen has always been a, a very innovative city, looking for new ways and fresh ideas for traditional endeavors and services for our community. Today, we celebrate more than the completion of a bus stop. We celebrate creative thinking, teamwork, and a vision for our city that will have an impact far beyond the people that just use the bus stop and the buses. It is play equipment, but I think what I like the most about this is not only the end product, but the fact that uh, the city of McAllen departments work so closely together to make this a reality. Most, most people don't realize how big an organization the city of McAllen is. We have 34 departments, uh, completely full service city. In fact, I was listening to Dr. Bailey yesterday uh, at the McAllen Chamber event and he was talking about the budget, the budget of the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. We have almost the same size budget in the city of McAllen that UTRGV does. So that's how big and complicated this organization is. And yet, <clears throat> thanks to our grants department, we were awarded a grant for this project, a very competitive grant. To prom so thank you, Carla, for your work. Uh, to promote play activities in our city, partnering with grants uh, Transit Department, the McAllen Library, Public Works, and the uh, Parks and Recreation to make this a reality. So I applaud you for the teamwork that you that you bring to our city. You know, sometimes we build big projects, and sometimes they're not so big. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we did the groundbreaking for our baseball fields um, on 29th Street and, and uh, Four Mile Line. That's about a $10 million project to play baseballs. And the, and the mayor keeps reminding us, it's just a ball field, right? Yes, it is a $10 million ballpark. This one's a little smaller, but I tell you what, it impacts people's lives every day. Every single day, this little area will impact people's lives. I heard somebody earlier say that this is not, uh, oh, it's Bob, Bob Canterbury. This is not a bus stop. This is the smallest park in McAllen. And so uh, thank you again for being here. We're very excited. The space is small, but the impact's gonna be huge to what it does for our community. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rodriguez. I'm sure we'll all come out here and enjoy it. Now to hear from final remarks from our transit director, Mr. Mario Delgado. Thank you, Sochil, and, and thank all of you for, for joining us today. We're, we're very excited about this project. And um, first and foremost, I'd like to thank the mayor and, and the city commission, as well as the city management team, for their continued support of, of transit. You know, public transit is a is a vital service for for this community and any community you know that that you go to. So, we're excited about this new project. Um, I'm gonna tell you, I worked really hard on, on my speech, and and the mayor and, and and the city manager said everything I had on my speech. So, I'm left with really nothing to say other than I'm really jealous of uh, Kate. Kate's going to get to come out and play every day. I wish I had my office in the library now, so very jealous of that. But, but most importantly, I want to thank all, all the other departments. Um, you know, we couldn't have done it without it. You know, we, we talked about we're coming together. Um, it's, it, in, in relative size, it's a small project. It's $40,000. But for all the work that was put in between the Parks Department, and Bob and his staff, and, and Mike Van this, uh, Public Works, Avita and her staff, Public Information, Grants Department, everybody came together and collaborated to put together what you see behind us, which is a, a great project for transit and for the city of McAllen. So we're very excited about that, very, uh, very grateful for their support. Of course, Transit Department staff, I couldn't forget them. You know, they're our, our team and uh, they do a great job. Uh, Robert De Leon was our project manager and so you know, put a lot of work into this. We're very excited 
And uh, without further ado, I'd like to invite you all to, to try this try this thing, do the ribbon cutting so we can try the, the new amenities on the bus stop. Thank you. Wow.